I get a phone call this morning from a good friend, my bestest friend, my BFF, because of a comment I made in my gravy video. Yeah, she called me out. She hollered me out. She slammed me down. She straightened me out. <laughs> she calls, and I'm like, hey. She said, I need to straighten some things out with you. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> she said, first, your friend doesn't have staff. It's all been cured and fixed. So... <laughs> We were laughing. She was just messing with me. She did have me a little nervous at first, though, when she said she had to straighten some things out with me. I went, uh-oh, what have I done? Because <laughs> I did kind of make a mistake in that video. I said, my friend that has staff can mess up some gravy now. Okay, she doesn't have it anymore. It's gone. It took a long time. Why is it every time I try to do a video, my nose starts itching? <laughs> um, she had staff. Like I said, two, Staph Lugdenensis and Staph Aurea, I think, or Aureus, they got rid of it. She was in the hospital for three and a half weeks. Most of you know, on constant IV antibiotics, she, when she got out, she was on oral antibiotics and she would have to go in and get an IV push. So that went on for two, two and a half more months, but She's on the clear now. So I just want to clear that up. I just made a mistake when I was talking. Because I was focusing on my gravy. And I wasn't paying attention to my words. And then she also said... <laughs> she always gives me a hard time, I swear. She said, I don't remember you ever teaching me how to make gravy. I said, well, I don't think I said teaching. I think I said, I gave you some tips. She goes, all I remember is your ass sitting on the couch waiting for dinner to get ready. <laughs> Damn. She likes to cook. She's a really good cook. She's kind of controlling. She's going to hear that. <laughs> so she wants to do the cooking. And I'm not allowed in that kitchen when she's cooking. But, you know, I didn't know if that was a southern thing to have dumplings in your gravy. Because she would have some lumps now. <laughs> oh, Lordy, I'm probably going to get another call. But she's got it down. She has got it down. She said, I've been making good gravy for the past five years. You're still talking about my gravy? <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. I don't know. It just came out of my mouth. Yes, you do make good gravy. You got it down now, girl. You got it down. <laughs> That was funny. She had me chuckling. We went on and on with some shit for about 15 minutes. We had a good time. <laughs> she was giving me a, a rash of shit, though. But I told her, I said, well, I did, you know, give you a tip or two. You don't generally listen to me much. But I know I threw it out there quietly, gently, non-invasively. Because <laughs> you don't mess with her when she's cooking. She won't even let me in the kitchen. So if I got to go in and get a drink or something, she's like, what you doing in my kitchen? Get out of her way. She's got a flow going. She now uses this stuff called Wondra. Um, she doesn't make a slurry like I do because it's real refined, very fine flour. And it says something on there about for quick thickening and smooth quick and smooth thickening so she's been using that and it's been a one been perfect every time okay T you happy I'll straighten things out she hasn't watched my videos in months months and she she watches that one Wow <laughs> I got snagged I got caught because <laughs> you know I told her I said yeah I gave you some tips about the flower thing I remember but I don't know if you listened. And I said, because, you know, I don't interfere when you're cooking and you're in the kitchen because, ooh, you, you, you don't like that business. 
She said, I know you're brave, but you're not that brave. You know better than to mess with me when I'm cooking. I said, I know. <laughs> so she makes this dish that I've never made. She does a really good job. What is it when you, you know, you take a chicken breast or even a boneless pork chop and you pound it real thin, you flour it, she'll put a little panko on it. Ooh, so it gets that yummy crunch. And she does a beautiful, perfect job on that. It's not all dried out and you're choking it down. And she makes some gravy with it. So I love it when she makes that for me. I haven't tried it yet. I tried to make it myself. Because why? She does a good job and she makes it for me. <laughs> so she told me, uh-huh. Well, I'm going to get some of those chicken breasts you told me were on sale. And I'm going to debone them and pound them out. Stick them in the freezer so I can make that for you. But I'm just making gravy for me. Enough for myself. <laughs> She said, now I'm going to tell you, get up and get your ass up in the kitchen and make your own gravy since you do such a great job of it. <laughs> oh, I howled. I laughed so hard. I said, don't. Please don't. I said you were a good cook. <laughs> and I said you got it down now. <laughs> oh, man, we were cracking up. She's a trip. My dad nicknamed her Tumbleweed a few years ago because... She Whatever happens, she just kind of rolls with the flow. <laughs> I guess I mentioned it because she is like one draw woman. I mean, she can do everything. She's a very competent person. Good cook, can do construction projects, has tools, athletic, intelligent. So when she struggles with something, it's kind of amusing for me. <laughs> And she struggled with that gravy for a while. I don't care what she wants to say. <laughs> oh, Southern style dumpling gravy. <laughs> Reminds me of the first time I took her skiing. She flew out here from Florida. And a friend of mine and Tomer and I and this other friend, we went skiing. Tumbleweed had told me that she had taken some lessons. Okay, the very, 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 very first thing they teach you is how to snow plow. Put your skis in, so your skis like this, put them in like this so that you can slow down. That is the number one thing. So my friend and I took her up on the ski lift. You know, she's cracking jokes. That's how she is though. She's a jokester, a prankster. She's going, wow, I've never been up this high. Well, I didn't think anything of it. All right, I kind of figured that. It was her first time actually really skiing. She had just taken lessons, and they usually do lessons on a little bunny slope. So I wasn't concerned about it because I was going to take her down a green, which are the easiest slopes. And my friend and I were going to be right there with her. My other friend, excellent skier. So no biggie. Well, she got off the ski lift just fine, like an old pro. She seemed like she knew what she was doing. She looked all cute in her little snow bunny outfit that she had. And, um, you know, she didn't fall over on the skis. She could. We had to wait in the line. I think we were up at Copper Mountain. Yeah. And she just scooted right along. You know, so. I should have said, you didn't know how to snow plow, right? <laughs> she really didn't know how to ski. I told her you should have been a little stronger about that. If you tell someone you had a couple of lessons, she didn't know a damn thing. <laughs> That's the bottom line. She did get off the ski lift okay. She goes, all right, well, I watched that on TV. I think I can do that. Woo! She didn't bust her butt or anything. But then she just kind of... Bam! Takes off like she's a slalom skier. And I thought, see there, I knew it. She's starting to go down the green really fast. But then I see some of this going on. <laughs> I realize, okay, her form isn't very good. But maybe she's just rusty. She does live in Florida. <laughs> but she just kept going straight and going straight. And I'm like, my friend and I started going. We're like, I said, oh shit. She doesn't know what she's doing. We're like, snowplow, snowplow. 
she didn't know what we were talking about. <laughs> okay. oh, it chokes me up because I have a, still have a visual in my head. She was looking to the right, looking to the left, looking forward, looking back. She was looking all four ways, thinking a real snow plow was coming. And she was like, what? <laughs> what? Why the hell's a snow plow on the snow slope? On the slope? Oh, my God. She was serious. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that hurts my stomach. Oh, I, did, I, I didn't know she didn't even know what that term was. Oh, man. So then, oh, she was going fast. So then she dropped. We had rented skis for her. They had them too tight. The ski didn't pop off. She hurt her knee. So they came with the little snow toboggan and a four-wheeler. And they had to take her down the mountain. My friend and I skied down, checked on her. She was in the bar. Having a few cocktails. Hell yeah, I would have been too. Uh, I think my friend and I went up for one or two more runs. She was fine. We had a great time anyway. She didn't get hurt real bad, but she did twist it a little bit. Again, I thought she was bullshitting. Because she's very athletic and, you know, she likes to pull pranks. Oh, chillins. I could tell you some of the things she has done to me. Oh, man. I didn't think some of them were so funny either. She brightened my morning. We had a good belly laugh about all that. Okay, Tubies, Toodles. I said, you did not take no damn lessons. Well, she admitted that <laughs> she she was usually shopping around Vail or Beaver Creek and uh, going and having some cocktails and just doing her thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think she took one lesson. 